Well, MC back here again with a finally wrapped up scary basement video series. So we took out this old fuel oil furnace, slow boy. We got a pile of garbage to get tossed, recycled, or otherwise disposed of. We got a new gas pipe running through reconnected to the old return duct and supply duct. Get the fuel oil tank pulled out of the corner. That's going to get pulled out probably uh, tomorrow. Sneak around this side. Got condensate drain for the furnace because this one's 90% efficient. We ran that one along the floor behind the wall up to the concrete pad at the base of the stairs just to avoid trip hazards and then into the floor drain. So that was about the most direct route we could get. Block some of the light off. So there's the new furnace and the transitions. So I made the new piece from the top to the bottom rather than making a transition to a transition. I just got rid of all of that. Uh, vent pipe. I kept that high and towards the outside wall. Went out through the existing cellar or basement window. Spray foamed all that shut so that's weather tight and sealed. Chunk of tin. Cover up the access here. Excess so we don't have critters trying to chew on it. If we ever ended up with a high efficiency water heater to replace that scary electric one. I left a T in the gas pipe and we can set the water tank anywhere in this general area and sidewall vent that one as well. Uh, intake pipe drops down again sealed combustion. Uh, when I'm doing a pressure test I like leaving the dirt leg out of the gas line and attaching it to the shutoff valve uh, because I've got about 3 psi pressure pressure testing this right now. We don't want to get high pressure exposed to our electric gas valve inside the furnace or we could damage it. Uh, power switch and fuse, I've got that mounted up high. Uh, union, dirt leg again is going to go down here once everything's put together. That way it gives me the ability to bleed the air out of this line once I get the propane set. I'm going to spin the pre-doped dirt leg up on through a union on the condensate drain for future service and also a flushing T. It's internally trapped, so I don't need a condensate trap or a P trap on this one. And for now, until I get all the garbage worked out of the ductwork, I uh, just have a um, one inch pleated air filter. And then once we get the stuff moved around and the dirt circulated, uh, then I'll throw the 4 inch, it's a 16 by 25 by 4 pleated. And so that's going to take a lot of dust out and keep it out. So in-laws are in their late 70s, 76, 77. So I think the cleaner we can keep the air and the longer we can go without having to change an air filter, that's going to make life better for everybody. So really not too bad. Uh, took a little bit more time doing this one just because I worked at it at my leisure, but otherwise usually a crew that has a equipped truck and tools can bang one of these things out in a day, day and a half. This one wasn't really that bad other than, you know, clearing all the spider webs out. And I've got most of them. And again, didn't disturb any of the asbestos, left all that in place. Next up, wait for propane to get set and fire it, adjust the gas pressure. Uh, digital thermostat, I've got that set on the wall already. Brand new uh, eight conductor cable. It's a two stage furnace, so it'll run low fire, high fire as needed. Uh, also ran enough wire if we did ever throw air conditioning in here, but uh, this house isn't set up feasible for central air. Um, if I did AC, I'd just do a ductless mini split, do spot cooling. But thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment. Thanks.